So just over a month ago, we made a video letting uh, our subscribers know uh, the situation with Louis, uh, why he hadn't been present on the channel for some time, why he wasn't working with us. Uh, and that was because he was diagnosed with brain cancer, a, a tumor which was resting on his spine. But exactly a month ago today, so the 18th of August, uh, Louis went into surgery. He was in surgery for just over 10 hours I believe, where the doctors were able to operate on the tumour. And my understanding was that they were able to remove the tumour in its entirety. And uh, when it came back from its analysis, it was confirmed that it was in fact uh, cancer. Um, so it, that part of the update is obviously uh, very good news. Uh, but since then, uh, Louis has been very up and down. It's actually one of the reasons why this update has taken uh, so long. Currently, uh, Louis is not able to communicate properly, certainly not by, um, by speaking. Uh, he's only really able to communicate by blinking or by giving thumbs up. So he is aware spatially of his surroundings and what's happening, but he can't actually uh, communicate. Now, uh, Louis has had some pretty bad uh, low spots after two or three days after the surgery he seemed to be doing really well he was able to get into a, a chair he was able to eat something and uh, he was able to to communicate with the nurses I'm not sure how that in w which capacity uh, but then he went downhill very very rapidly to the point where they thought the cancer had come back and it was attacking his brain aggressively uh, later on it actually became apparent that that wasn't the case that rather the medication he was on uh, as part of the aftercare wasn't quite right for what he needed. It was having a negative effect. Uh, but the doctors were able to identify that very quickly uh, and they changed that so that the seizures that he was having uh, stopped pretty quickly. Um, but since then, it's been a very much uh, up and down process. He's been in and out of intensive care. Now, currently the situation with him is he is back in intensive care where he's receiving a one-to-one -one attention 24 hours around the clock and one of the reasons for this is because they suspected louis had sepsis uh, and i believe that that was confirmed a few days ago that that was actually the case uh, that louis is suffering with sepsis so currently he is very poorly um, unsurprising he is very uh, unwell he is not very strong so how uh, they're going to treat the sepsis uh, i'm not 100 percent sure i know there is concerns about how weak he currently is my understanding also is that they are considered considering uh, moving louis from the hospital he is in uh, to a more specialized uh, hospital which deals specifically with what louis is suffering with so uh, that is the situation you know the high point being that the surgeons that worked on him have, have done a fantastic job and they were able to remove all of the cancer um, but he has obviously uh, got some after surgery issues and the main one being uh, sepsis so uh, that is uh, the situation at the moment um, obviously i think everybody had hoped possibly he'd be doing a bit better i know the doctors thought the same uh, and also his family especially his son uh, currently uh, very few are able to see him we're not able to um, and I think only direct family uh, is able to go and see him because he's in such intensive care. But as time goes on, and hopefully if he gets moved to a more specialised uh, hospital, that care will be able to uh, increase even more and he'll be able to make uh, better progress. But that really is the update on the situation with Louis. Uh, it's some good news and it's some bad news. But just as a final thought, although Louis isn't able to communicate and he's not able to talk at the moment, I know uh, he would wholeheartedly want me to say a massive thank you to all those that have showed support. Uh, that video that we uh, made, just letting people know uh, the uh, situation with Louis has um, been, it's been quite moving to just see how many people care. I think um, it's had nearly 7,000 views, I think in a month, uh, over 250 likes and nearly 200 comments wishing Louis well. I think none of us uh, on the channel really thought that uh, uh, it would 
be pop so popular is the wrong word uh, but that people would be so interested in louis we know he's always in the background and nobody ever really sees him because he's a bit camera shy but uh, just the thought that people really do care about him means so much to him it means so much to me and luke and it means so much to his family as i've mentioned especially his son who's a desperate to see his dad uh, get better uh, so on behalf of louis and his family i just want to say a massive thank you for those that uh, made the comments uh, left the comments and even just a, a thumbs up it's such a big thing just to let know let people know all around the world there are those uh, that are wishing him well i know it really uh, means a lot to him um, uh, but that really is the situation as more information comes out if the family want me to we'll make sure we update those on the channel as he slowly makes the progress uh, hopefully so he can go home soon so he can spend time with his family and he can recover fully uh, possibly we can see him again on the channel soon so thank you so much for all the support that our subscribers have shown and those that are not even subscribers thank you so much for it it means so much uh, to us we hope this video has provided some form of relief in just letting everybody know where Louis is. We look forward to seeing you on the next video where hopefully it's something a little bit more cheery, something more uh, dealing with last week. Thanks again.